Grace and peace to you all. This is Pastor Pimpong. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in this day. Beloved, uh, today is the 30th day of the first month of the new year 2020. And beloved, can you imagine? You know, it is just, the month is just about to come to an end. Tomorrow will be the last day. And by the grace of God, here I am. The temperature is 43 degrees, about Fahrenheit, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. And that makes it about 6.1 degrees Celsius. The Lord, by His grace, has sustained me. I have walked a distance of seven, let me see how many miles, 7.4 miles. By the time I get home, I would have walked about 15 miles or perhaps more. But this is the Lord's doing. It is so wonderful. It is so marvelous. I'm enjoying this walk. God has given me the strength and the grace to be able to do it. And I believe he's giving you the same strength and grace. If you only set your mind to do it, you'll find yourself doing it. Here, uh, I find people who are 80 years old, they are walking. Some even 90, and they are walking. Not so fast, but they are walking. Uh, there are those in the 80s even who are actually jogging. I mean, some of them jogging. But there's a lot of walking going on here. Uh, in this city of Greensboro where I live and I believe all around the US and perhaps in the whole world But beloved the greatest asset that God has given to us is our feet that we have and the ability that he has given to us to be able to use it to walk to our own benefits our health benefits so please do your best walk if you can walk walk jog do some exercise or oh, how how your, your how our blood vessels rejoice our hearts rejoice our lungs rejoice the liver the kidney all of this they all rejoice our brains our eyes everything because as we breathe the fresh air walking outside fresh air jogging us running out running jogging throttling i mean outside the fresh air that enters into your body my causes your heart to rejoice your heart to live for joy and your lungs the liver the kidney they all need this fresh air so beloved, don't deprive your body. Don't deprive your body of all this great benefit that the Lord has given to us, okay? God bless you, the Lord loves you. In fact, I have a message for us today. And I am standing right here, right by another stream. I was by this stream about a few days ago and I showed, posted it to you all, sorry, but I'm back here again. Uh, the Lord has given me a message to deliver. So I want you to take a look at this stream again. Take a look at the stream. You see how it snakes its way on the riverbed and in between the, you know, the, the trees, you know, as it meanders and tries to curve into the other side. And it's done, it's, I mean, so quiet, so calm, so serene. That is the kind of peace that God wants you and I to have. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, and verse 18, it says, Oh, that thou hast hearkened unto me, then thy peace shall be like the river. And not only will your peace be like river, but your righteousness like be, will be like the waves of the sea. You know, in the future, if I'm able to go by one of the sea, uh, to the seashore, to the beach, I'll bring a message. You know, but God really delights and desires that you and I will have peace so serene like the flowing of this river you know he wants you and I to have a righteousness that is like the waves of the sea see the calmness of the peace calmness of the stream you know Isaiah 48 verse 1 to 18 God says evil all that will hearken unto him one thing that the world the world needs is the peace of God, the true peace. The world lacks this peace. I have a song that I released uh, in 2000 and uh, I believe 2005. Uh, My peace exceeds all understanding. Google it please. Google it. Go on Google and, and, and type in my peace exceeds all understanding uh, by Dr. Albert K. Sompimpon. Dr. Albert Albert, A L B E R T, K, and the middle initial is K, and then some ping pong is S S O M 
dash p as in paul i m as in mary p as in paul o n as in nancy g as in george my peace exceeds all understanding by dr albert k some people in that song you see i have all this this words because it's all bible based but before the before the song you hear my message behind it. it's a powerful message to the nations to the nations to the leaders of the nations who meet and gather and promise the world peace and yet as soon as they promise peace then there is outbreak of war that is the fake or the false kind of peace the peace that the world offers is not peace okay in first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 it said then they shall say peace 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 and then come sudden destruction and that is what the world offers when they gather world leaders gather and they make all those kind of promises vain promises you know, talking about this. And then as soon as the same people who promise peace, they are the same people who are behind violence all over the world, raining bombs on one nation, depriving other nations of food, and all this kind of chaos. The world has no peace for you and I. No, 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 no man has, of, has any peace. In fact, the peace that the world offers is filled with booby traps filled with bombs that have been landmines, landmines, landmines. That's the kind of peace that the world offers. You know, when the world tells you peace, 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 my friend, no, behind this is sudden destruction. But there is a peace that the Lord promises us in Isaiah 48 and verse 18. He says, if only we will hack into him, we will listen to him, if we will receive Jesus Christ into our hearts and obey him and follow his voice and do what he tells us to do, then we shall have peace that passes all understanding. Then our peace like, will be like the flowing of this river. river. Look at the stream, peaceful. Then, thy, then shall our peace be like a river and our righteousness our righteousness shall be like the wave of the sea. My beloved, earlier on I showed you, I was standing by the lakeside, a huge lake. It was so placid and so calm. That is the kind of peace that Lord offers us and the flowing of this stream, you know, that I'm, I've shown in the background. My prayer is that we shall strive for the peace of Christ. Do you know why? You know, I mean, do you know why the world, the world, the world system kicks against the peace that Jesus Christ gives? Because it comes with great sacrifice. Because if you to have to receive the peace of God, you have to deny yourself and take up the cross of Christ and follow Him. And there are so many Christians also who have walked away from it. We are almost like in a tug of war with the world system. We want what the world has, so we are, you know, it's like a tug of war. When the Lord is saying that he who, he who wants to come after me, he who wants to have my peace, let him deny himself, take up the cross and follow him. There'll be trials, but in the midst of all of that, there is a peace of God that flows like a river. Isaiah 48 verse 18, read it. Oh, that you hearken unto me, then shall your peace be like a river and your righteousness will be like the wave of the sea. Beloved, may we seek after the peace of God. May we seek about the, uh, after the peace that God gives. That peace that passes all understanding. That peace that no amount of money can buy. It is that peace that the world leaders need. When the United, United Nations gather, they need that peace of God. When the Congress, the Senate, the Supreme Court of America, when they gather, they need the peace of God. They need it. No amount of legislations and all kinds of things that they do will bring peace, true peace. No. I mean, we have all those legislations that we make, and yet our streets are filled with chaos, with constant killing, murder, left and right, violence in every place. That tells you that man in himself can have no peace to offer. Because the very same people who promise peace are also, also have their legs on their throats or on the necks of the people who I will use the word, the underlings, the underlings, that is us, those people who are powerless and, and, and have no power except the power of God. There is only one person who gives peace, okay? There is no peace in any nation, no matter what. They can, they can claim that the name of God and put their name of God on whatever. 
there is no peace. The true peace can be found in Jesus Christ. And Jesus says, if only we we'll hearken unto him, then shall our, our peace be like a river. Okay? But if we don't, if we don't, and we want that which is in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, it says, when they shall say, peace, 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 then cometh sudden destruction. And that is the world that we live in. Promising peace, but then violence is what comes after that. We constantly promise peace, but then what we dish out is violence. And we are at each other's truth. Not until we turn to God through Jesus Christ, we shall have no peace. Okay? Like I said, the peace that the world offers you is laden, you know, with so much landmines. You know, you have landmines, booby traps everywhere. It, it has no peace. The world has no peace to offer you and I. The only peace that you can have, true peace, is in Jesus Christ. My beloved, if you don't know Jesus, yield to him today. Get to know him. And, but if you, and if you know Christ, and yet you find yourself in, tug of, in a tug of war with the world, you just love the world so much that you can't let go of the things of this world. My friend, it's about time to let go. Let go of the things of this world. They offer you no peace, offer you no nothing. It just offers you temporal pleasures. The pleasures that are just seasonal, they'll pass away. Let us surrender our lives to Jesus Christ. Year 2020, let Jesus Christ be your peace. Let Jesus Christ be your peace. The peace that passes all understanding. Jesus is the only one who offers that. Would you yield your life to him? Listen, I love you, but there's one who loves you the most. He dies so that you can have peace. His name is Jesus Christ. His blood washes away every sin. Yield to him today, and you'll find the peace that passes all understanding. The peace that is like a river. The peace that sat will satisfy your soul. Listen, God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye, Pastor Pimple.